So here it is, guys. It is time. We are finally going to be finishing our working clock in islands using the new electricity mechanics, guys. This is actually going to be insane. And I think this is going to be the world's first. I'm going to be the world's first person to do this. But before we do any of that, I actually need to go collect all this iron, guys. I made this little, I don't know if I can call it little, but I made this iron farm just so that I could actually um, uh, use my head and stop thinking. Yeah. No, I, I, I made this little iron farm so I can, can actually craft all of the different stuff that i'm gonna need so what we're gonna need right here guys we're actually gonna have to get ourselves a bunch more splitters and a bunch more x or gates and guys if you actually don't know what we're working on right here uh make sure that you have seen the last video or unless you want to just hang out and have a good time that's also totally fine but we're gonna actually have to craft ourselves a bunch more splitters as well as x or gates so i just craft I, I right now have 14 splitters i'm also gonna have to get 14 x or gates you might not need exactly 14 i'm just getting 14 to be safe so here uh boom 14 of each uh so guys what we have right here guys this is the part of the clock that we already have finished. And let's just call this the brain. Uh, this is what actually give us, gives us the information of what time of day it is. It works pretty simple. So pretty much the way it works is that if you put a wire into a lamp, this lamp consumes one power. As you can see, it starts off with 20 and it ends up with 19. Now, guys, pretty much what we're doing right here is we're, we're reducing a solar panel's light by one each and every block it goes through. So by the end of it, what we've created right here, guys, actually, of course, you know, it removes one of, each, one of these... Uh, uh, power deleters let's just call it that every single time it goes into a new one and that is pretty much how we are getting this result where we pretty much have uh a power thing that just turns off one of each light depending on the time of day of course you know the solar panels detect the time of day now what we're gonna have to do right here guys we're actually gonna have to start working on the thing that lets only okay actually wait no it needs to be one more block back right away i start off with doing the wrong thing this all needs to be one more block further back guys we're now gonna have to make it so pretty much it only displays one one time at a time like not like multiple times at once you know that's not what we want all right so this right here these are all x or gates and now all i need to do is i actually need to place all of these splitters right in front of them like this as you guys can see it doesn't look too complicated right here what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to grab this this power one wire okay or just this not this power one but it's pretty much this one block resistor resistor let's call it resistors i think that's a cool word it's just a lamp okay it's not that cool we're, we're, we're trying to make something cool here okay uh we're gonna <laughs> actually wait uh uh, we need a one more splitter. We're going to grab this uh, power and we're going to pass it into the splitter and then from the left side of the splitter into the right side of the XOR gate like this. And we're going to actually do this exact same thing for every single one of them. But instead of just putting the left side into the right side of the XOR gate in front of it, what we're actually also going to do is we're going to grab the right side of the splitter and put it into the previous XOR gate like this, as you guys can see right here. So pretty much what we're going to do right here, guys, we're going to go one over on... Oh, not like that one over on every single one of these all the way down to the very end and there it is boom so now guys what this should do it should only okay but actually wait no we need to also connect these uh to, to all of them but once we have done this what this should do is this should make it so that only one wire can be activated at once at least one of these output wires there you go now everything is hooked up so as you guys can see because it's currently full daytime, this one is actually activated. How far is the sun? Sun is right in the middle, so it's going to be daytime for quite some more time. But as soon as it turns off one light, because this is an XOR gate, uh, the way an XOR gate works is that if only one of them is activated it will give power but if both of them are activated it will not give power and because of that mechanic pretty much as soon as this uh, this one turns off right here right this splitter turns off this this what, let's call it a battery this battery turns off there's only one activated right here because this one isn't turned off and then this light will turn on and the same will happen all the way down the line you guys can see it as soon as it will start as soon as it will start turning di uh, daytime as soon as it will start turning nighttime and uh, it will look pretty damn cool now guys what i'm gonna need right here is i'm actually gonna have to get myself a 12 and gates there you go and now what we're gonna do right here is we're actually gonna add an and gate in front of every single one of these and we're gonna grab one wire and put it into one of these outputs on every single one of them just like this making sure to skip one output on the and gate every single time boom there it is so guys as you can see right here uh one of the and gate outputs is always what do you call it like yeah you you, you, you get what i'm talking about right now guys what i'm actually gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to make another layer <laughs> of solar panels <laughs> 
Actually, I can delete this one because this one is actually useless. So I have four. So I'm going to have to craft quite a few more, actually. But hey, we're, we're going to have to just start placing these right here. Like I said, boys, this is not a cheap build. <laughs> so what are we? We're currently two solar panels short. What do I need? I need copper bolts. All right. I guess we're going to make some copper bolts right now. Put in the bolt mold and let's stop dropping in some copper. <laughs> Dude, I actually love this, man. This is like, yes, <laughs> we are building the... Probably the, some of the first ever super complicated stuff in all of islands, okay? And when it, at least when it comes down to like the, the wiring stuff, right? How cool is this, man? All right, we should now finally have enough copper bolts to actually test out this thing. Also, what I can actually show you guys right now is the 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 module slowly starting to turn off. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, as you guys can see right here, this is one that turns off. So now only, only this one is active. Now only this one is active. As you guys can see, it's slowly working its way down the line. Now only this one is active. Now only this one is active pretty neat but now that we have the materials to make two more solar panels let's quickly make these two and let's add them to our little line right here boom boom and now guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these solar panels into the and gate above like this and we're gonna do that for every single one of them and boom there it is all right so guys now that we have actually figured out the, the complete logic right beh behind our clock what is actually next up is either creating a digital display or a an analog one um we can technically make a digital display that says the numbers like that is actually possible and i will probably make a part three about making a digital display as well which is gonna be sick you have to check that out but today we are making the more simple simple clock which is the one that looks like this pretty much a regular clock we're gonna make the we're gonna make one of these like the next video okay it's, it's gonna be sick so guys what i actually have to figure out is exactly how i am gonna make the actual clock design um i'll should I just make it in here because i have space here whatever i'll make it in here just because i have space um but yeah pretty much um i cannot use the middle block let's build it using clay so we can have like what like, like i'm trying to figure out like the number of like hands that i can have right we have one we have two there three all right we got three this right here is only eight eight, eight things so to say so what we actually have to do is we have to create two in between each of these which is a bit complex but i think this right here will be our final pattern that i'm gonna go with and if i'm not mistaken this should actually be 12 hands so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve <laughs> Perfect. I might actually make these one block longer to make them look a little bit nice. So let's calculate the amount of lights that we're actually going to need to use for this clock right here. So 48. We're going to have to add 48 lamps. Do I already have enough? I got 80. We got enough, boys. Yeah. All right. And then let's see. This right here is going to be the center of our clock. Oh my God. That is going to be so sick. You got to see it from the entire base. All right. That right there is going to be the center of our clock. So what I need to do now is I need to actually create the different hands. All right. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. And yeah, guys, pretty much what we're doing right here is we're just creating the exact same thing that we made there on the other side. Uh, we're just we're just putting it on the actual clock, so to say. Boom, that right there is all of the hands of our clock done. So guys, what we're gonna have to do right now is we're actually gonna have to connect our output to our actual wires. And guys, I actually didn't explain yet why we have these solar panels down here, guys. Pretty much the way that an AND gate works right now is that if there's, let's say right here, there's a power of one, which is not that good. But if there's also a power of like, you know, full power it will always actually give you the full power one it, it will give you the biggest power one and that's how we actually always have enough power power the, the clock itself so what i'm going to do right now guys is i'm actually going to create the actual different hands so that is midnight or midday yeah midday so let me go from pass through to pass through all the way up like so so that is currently off because it's currently going down the list yeah okay i was like wait am i losing my mind <laughs> it's turning nighttime so yeah for example for this one we're gonna have to connect it to the next one over so it's this one and we're gonna go one down every single time like this all right we're just doing the exact same thing for every single one of them so this one needs to go right here and then we connect all of these together and because it's currently midnight all of them are turned off but guys i'm pretty sure if we stand back right now and when it starts turning daytime again we can actually see our clock working in action i am so excited all right boys as you can see the moon is going down so i think any time any second now we should see our clock starting to turn on with specifically that one come on i'm so excited come on come on Please. Okay, the day is coming. The day is coming, boys. Oh, 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 oh. Things are happening. Things are happening. One. It's one in the morning. Two in the morning. Three in the morning. Four in the morning. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Five in the morning. Oh, oh no, no, no. I fell. I fell. It's six in the morning. Guys, look. It's six in the morning. Seven in the morning. Eight in the morning. Nine in the morning. Ten. Ten. Ten in the morning. Oh, my God. This is the craziest thing I've ever built. Eleven. Come on. We're almost there. Come on. The time is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> 
11. And it's almost midday, boys. Actually, uh, not really, but it's a clock. You know, it does. It tells you the time. Come on. 12. We're almost there, boys. Give it to me. 12. There it is. And it is full daytime again. That is so sick. So, guys, the way that this... This clock actually works is that not like a real clock, right? Like, for example, if you look at a real clock, it will infinitely keep spinning in a circle. The way that our clock works, pretty much, right? If this is our clock right here, right? It'll boop. The way the hand goes, right? Let's say it's currently midday. The hand will spin backwards when it starts turning nighttime, right? And it will actually start as soon as it starts turning daytime. Instead, it will spin forward, right? So I know that is not that that is not technically how a clock works, but I think it is currently not possible to actually make it work elsewise but yeah it is still super cool you can still tell the time it is honestly this is this is by far one of the craziest coolest contraptions that i have ever built this is awesome i'm actually gonna go and uh, aesthetic this play this thing up a little bit because i'm not currently a very big fan of how the the big gray blob in the middle looks i gotta do something with that boys come on you know i might just leave this thing a skeleton dial guys if you don't know what a skeleton dial is it's like a fancy word okay look at this skeleton dial it's like where you can see through the watch or like through the thing like, as you can see, you can see the other side of it, pretty much. Here, this is a good example right here. You see the other side of the thing. We're going to pretty much make it like that, how you can see all the wiring behind it. Because, guys, that is honestly the coolest part of this entire thing, you know? Like, why would I hide it? Why would I hide the mechanics? It is so cool. That is the clock, boys. That is it. It's right here. <laughs> Dude, let's get a proper look at this thing when it goes back to nighttime. We need to have a good look at this. All of the mechanics pinging off, like everything going all at once. It is going to be a lovely sight to see. There it is. The proper view of this thing, man. Holy smokes, dude! Yes! Oh, the clock is going again, boys! Look at that! Up, 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 up. Come on, go down one more, baby. Do it! Do it! There it is. It's almost 9 p.m., boys. It's almost 9 p.m. Oh my god, dude. This is so sick. This is actually by far the coolest thing i have ever created look at that dude <laughs> Oh my god, it's a working clock! Well, guys, if you want to see how to make the digital display version of this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and uh, make sure you tune in for tomorrow's video. It's gonna be awesome. I will see you on the next one, boys. Peace out, everyone, and bye-bye.